grade 5 today we will do the page number 39 and 40 in page number 39 we will you we will learn how to use can and may so let me share the screen okay <coughs> grade uh, 5 now we can uh, use the helping verb can and may to express possibility if we are confirmed and if there is a more much possibility to for something to happen we use can for example we can find the golden sword if we follow the clues people can die from this disease rian may fracture his arm if you push him aliens may have drawn the skull line when there is a little bit less possibility then we use may now we have to complete these sentences with most suitable word use can or may to express possibility looking at the dark clouds in the sky i think it may be rain today or it can be rain today the both options are correct after the operation sherry can walk by herself because it's almost sure we are almost sure that after the operation sherry can walk with the flight ticket mr smith can go to america as nick can't see the word on words on the board clearly he may need glasses stop playing with matches you may burn yourself okay now after that there is a page number 40 in which you see spelling. Read the words below. They have long vowel sound or, or long vowel sound or o or o sound. Horn, gauze, daughter, nauseous, cow, no, jaw, down, straw, yawn, law, and drawer. Now fill in the blanks with the correct words with the words list above. The lower jaw of a shark is filled with sharp teeth. Mother keeps her jewelry in a drawer. The men haul the fallen tree off the road. The doctor is covering Robert's wound with a gauze. Pam is nauseous. She feels like vomiting now. Okay. After this, Yesterday, we have read about the appositive and you know the appositive. Appositive is a noun or noun phrase that gives more information about the noun that comes before it. We use comma to separate an appositive from other, from other uh, parts of the sentence. Sally is nanny. Sally has been looking after the twins since they were babies. So how would we write it? Yes. Yes, this one. The nanny, then comma, Sally, then comma, has been looking after the twins since they were babies. Now, Bobby was punished for punching Jack's face. Bobby was a class bully. The class bully, Bobby, was punished for punching Jackie's face. And now we will put the comma after the Bobby and after the class bully. The third one is Professor John was the town's botanist. Professor John collected samples of leaves to examine the cause of spotting. So the both way we can write the Professor John, the first we can write the name, comma, the town botanist, comma, collected samples of leaves to examine the cause of spotting. We can write it in another way also, that is, Professor, the town's botanist, the Professor John, collected samples of leaves to examine the cause of spotting. In next page, you can see, form your own sentences using the helping verb as a positive in your sentence. The tallest boy, you can name, give any name. The tallest boy, Ahmad. One, the baseball was the man of, uh, one was the best player in uh, 
फुट इन बास्केटबॉल मैच माय लिटिल सिस्टर मैरी लव्स टू प्ले विथ डॉल हर फेवरेट डिश कॉमा बिरयानी कॉमा कुक्ड बाय माय ग्रैंड मदर द कैपिटल सिटी कराची द कैपिटल सिटी इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द आफ्टर मैथ ऑफ हेवी रेन दैट्स हाउ वी कैन मेक द सेंटेंसेस फॉर दीज वर्ड्स इन द नेक्स्ट पेज वी कैन डू वी हैव टू यूज मे एंड कैन टू फिल दीज ब्लैंक्स सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज़